chaos. Or... Alrighty, good morning everybody. Well, not really a morning at this point, almost an afternoon. Uh, this is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. I might have overslept a little bit, but um, to be fair, I've also been waking up early for the past three or four days now, and eh, I thought I would sleep in a little bit. But I also knew I wanted to do some kind of morning stream, so even though it is currently 11.35 a.m. here on the East Coast, um, good morning anyway, and uh, welcome to Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, technically, I have this listed as Super Mario Bros. 3 on the NES, which I, you know, obviously that's the version that first came out. That's the version everybody knows. But I think a lot of people are familiar with this version as well. This is the Game Boy Advance version released in 2003 as part of the Super Mario Advance series on the Game Boy Advance. And, of course, uh, Nintendo making so many of those Game Boy Advance games available now. And one of them was Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, which is funny since they already have Super Mario Bros. 3 available on the NES. But um, we're going to go ahead and just start a new game. Not that I played all that much of the old one. But honestly, I just think this is the best way to play this game. I don't know why. The graphics are better. It seems to run a little faster. Maybe that's just me imagining it. Now, I'm not a huge Mario fan, as you guys know. I'm a Sonic fan. But I do think this is the best 2D Mario game. Uh, it's either between this and Super Mario World, but I think this one's a little bit better. Uh, it just it feels like the the best advancement, some pun intended, of that initial Mario Brothers formula. Um, like, you know, it still feels like a Mario game, but they added so many new things. It's, it's a really long game. I mean, hell, we're not going to beat it today. I've never actually beaten this game, even with some of the cheats people have to, like, skip to the last level or whatever, which... I'll be using none of those since I want the full Mario Brothers uh, 3 experience. Yeah, no, I do have some appreciation for this game, as I do with a lot of Mario games. Uh, this is my favorite 2D Mario game. I would say Mario Galaxy is my favorite 3D Mario game and probably my favorite Mario game of all time. Uh, but that's a whole other thing. The game, like this game, I think has a decent difficulty level, but there are ways to get extra one-ups and stuff, which I think is critical. Ah, oh, damn it. I'd say up there, we, who knows, we might have been having a different conversation. I don't know if you could still store an item. No, it doesn't look like it. Where you hit the select button and the item comes down as like an extra power-up. Maybe it does. Maybe I just didn't do it right. I don't know. You can break these open with your Tanuki thing. Oh, actually, I did not know about that. Again, I'm not like an expert at this game, so there's like a lot of stuff that I remember, but I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, if you hit this second block here, you can unlock like the secret mini-game or something. I'm not going to know stuff like that. I'm just not... 
that's kind of what makes it work. Like uh, uh, the fact that I am a big Sonic fan, but I still respect Mario, I think is why I look at these games as really great platforming games, but I'm also not going to go crazy over them like the Mario fan crowds do. And I also understand why they would. Funny enough, Sonic 3 is my favorite Sonic game of all time. This isn't my favorite Mario game of all time, but it's up there. And, you know, sometimes I just want to stream something a little simpler. I've been mentioning that I want to do more retro streams during the year. Like, not just retro requests, but literally just, you know, retro games. And this is about as retro as we get. The game originally came out in 1988, which is the same year I came out. But was born, I guess I should specify. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> kind of like the extra voice acting they added here. Just what I needed. I'll be hearing that a lot. Mario definitely, you know, likes to let you know how he's feeling. All the people that say Sonic talks too much, well, they're honestly probably right. But Mario, you know, did his fair share of talking too. He's just a little less vocal, but when he talked, he, you knew something was happening. Oof! He just got kicked or something, like fucking Goomba just ran into him. Oh, that was a power-up. Can I get that? Okay, cool. So that's another reason I prefer this version, is the NES version, and this was common for a lot of NES games, but, like, there'd be stuff like that where you get a power-up and it would just, like, disappear, because, like, the game would have enough memory to remember that you just hit it. Whereas the Game Boy Advance is a little more capable for that kind of stuff, so, like, I don't know. It's a minor difference, but stuff like enemies respawning a foot after you beat them and stuff like that just doesn't happen here. Is that my second star? It is. Cool. I don't know if there's extra lives for, like, scoring a certain number of points. I know there's a number of ways to get extra lives in this game. And that, that's also much appreciated for a noob like me who's going to need those lives. Of course, we've got the Chaos Bowl going on tomorrow, which is going to be just a random football game. I have not determined yet if it's going to be on the game, uh, what is it, the Dreamcast or the Xbox 360 version of NFL Blitz. Knowing me, it'll likely be the Dreamcast version. But um, that's something that I'm going to do. And that, me dying to a random moving red Goomba is something that I'm going to do as well. So, yeah, just get used to that. I am not great at this game and never claim to be. Can't wait for Randy to come on this stream and be like, is this a new game? Be like, nope, it sure is not. It sure is not. I don't think there's like any secret here, but you never know with this game. Yep, see what I mean? Like, I, I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah, it really was just what he needed. And that weird collision is apparently just what I needed as well. But that was a complete waste of time. Cool, thanks Mario. Knew you'd have my back. Sometimes these games can feel a little trollish with stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, you want to win? Nope. Nah, there you go. There's your boomerang to the face. Not winning shit. That's why I like that the later games gave you more power-ups, like the ability to turn into those little boomerang things. See how they like it. I don't think there's actually been a Hammer Brothers Mario power-up, not counting the, um... What do you call it? The capture abilities in Mario Odyssey, of course, which let you turn into pretty much any Mario enemy. Oh, Alright, well, that's gone. Oh, wait a minute. I might still... No, that's gone. So I, I don't have any way to get to that secret mushroom now. Man, that's all right. I was probably just going to lose it in a second anyway. I'm watching my coin total, see if I can get to 100, get an extra life that away. Damn, that boomerang has a super long range. Uh, so I did not get three stars. I got that. Okay, I still get a one-up for that. That's cool, then. So, you know. Play your cards right. You get some one-ups. I also like these little house things in between. There's little enemy encounters. I actually really liked the world map in Mario 3, believe it or not. That's one of the biggest strengths of the game, in my opinion. It's just some of the random stuff you can come across in it. Uh, I'll pick this one. There you go. Now, is this an item I can store and use later, or... I, I don't know how it works. Nope. Or at least if you can, I'm not hitting the right button for it. Oh, this level. 
But again, though, great music. Can never complain about the music, although I still prefer my Sonic music. Thank you very much. Not my Sonic music. I didn't write it or anything, but you know what I mean. I feel like that's got to be something, right? There we go. Sometimes you can tell. It's just kind of in a weird place. You're like, why would that block be out there like that? And then you find out why, because they, they actually like you. You like me, Nintendo. You really like me, despite all the crap I taught you on you in the 90s. No hard feelings, right? Oh, I'm screwed. Blocks there. Speaking of retro games and just retrocity in general, I am close to announcing the release date for Retromania, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to do it today, but it's coming. But you guys know that. I stream quite a bit, so... It's not done today, it will be done at some point. All right. Getting through these levels at a decent clip, but again, you know, it is the first world. Still not a pushover, as we've seen. I've, I've died a couple times. Not too, uh, not too proud to beg, not too proud to admit that I have died a couple times in the opening world here in the game. Hopefully everybody's morning or afternoon, whatever time it is, is going well for you. Again, this is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur, and we are playing some Mario 3 right now. Oh, this game. Forget this. This game is cursed. I've maybe won this once. And we won't win it. It's always the last one. The first two line up decently, and then it's like, nah. All right, let's go to our first castle. Hopefully not lose more than one life here. But we'll see right after this. Oh, watch out. Okay. Everything he gets is just what he needed. It's amazing. Imagine going to a restaurant, no matter what food they give you. Ah, it's just what I needed. That's Mario right there. You know what, though? He makes the best of it. I wouldn't be quite so happy being in some of these environments. Damn it. If I ever time that right, I think you can actually just get rid of the dry bones altogether by using that tail slash. I could be wrong. Hey, what's going on, Rem? Jesus. What's going on, Rem? Thank you for joining the stream this morning. Uh, I'll get to you in just a moment. Playing a little Mario 3, just a little bit. Get you, get you going here. Uh, I think I'm about to face the mini-boss here. Well, it really is. So you're working again after working last night. Well, I guess apparently the big Valentine's Day rush is on. So that's a thing I did not know about. But I was going to say I don't work retail, but I do. I just don't work somewhere that is a... Valentine's Day thing. All right, so he's gone. You can get bent. I'll grab my question mark block or circle or whatever, and we'll be off to the races. Woo, yippee. Cool. Save my progress. Oh, yeah, I'm making so much progress. Save that shit. You excited about uh, Game Boy Advance games being available on Switch? There are some good ones. Now, they only have six so far. I heard Metroid Fusion is going to be one of them, but I already have Metroid Fusion in so many different ways. But then again, I already have this game. Uh, let's see. This is such luck. Uh, hold Wait, that's it? Uh -oh, I was going to say, I knew where the ice one was. All right, let's go. That was fortuitous. Took some of them guys out. Yeah, again, this is my favorite version of this game, I think. The Game Boy Advance port. I mean, unless they made a newer one on Wii or something that I missed. Because I know they did make, like, a 2D All-Stars collection again on Wii for that anniversary. Oh, really? Oh, that's mean. See what I mean about the game trolling you sometimes? That's a troll. That's a troll move. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry to have Rem here on the eve of Super Bowl Sunday. Who do you think is going to win the big game, Rem? The Chiefs or the Eagles? More after this. Looks like I finally have enough for my extra life, which I just got. After burning a life on that last part. So I can't go down this way, it looks like. Not sure if it's a good idea to, but I can. <laughs>
That's what I needed, a soggy mushroom. Mmm, soggy. No, that thing's soggy. It's been sitting there in the water. Honestly, that felt like one of those levels that was going to have... It was going to have a troll enemy at the very end. Like, you were going to get to the end, and there was going to be like a Hammer Brother or something waiting for you. I already see that Hammer Brother pacing around the bridge there. I don't trust him. Who is Hammer Brother's brother, anyway? Like, is there a Luigi brother? Like, a Hammer Brother? Or maybe they, they probably have different names entirely. Probably like Charlie and Marley or something. The Hammer Brothers! They have one thing in common. They want to destroy the Mario Brothers. And I want to get that mushroom. Hey, -o. Ah, there we go. Lucky. Try and slide under these so that you can still get the power up in them, but not die is always nice. See, there was a little troll enemy, but we got through it. No biggie. No biggie. Oh, I got a one up again. Mario, you're getting all sweaty again. I should start asking Lena Rem some of those questions she loves, like macaroni and cheese or cheese. I don't know why that would be one. All right, now I have to deal with this hammer guy thing. Hey, I dealt with it. Just kind of got fortunate. Now, where does that star go? I don't even know where these items go. Like, I, get, I collect all these little items. Uh, it's time for the Bowser Castle now. Now we're not messing around. Pick a box. Its contents will help you. We don't know how because it never actually does anything. But there's, there's a mushroom. That'll be in my inventory to never get used. Unless I'm missing something. Again, I, I don't play this game that much. There's got to be a way to go into the pause menu or something and access the items you collected. Oh no, it's a snake. It actually looks like one of the snakes from Mario 2. Which is a game I don't really like that much. Mario Brothers 2. Sorry, I don't... Wait, this is a pirate ship level? I could swear this was a regular... Nah, Alright, I guess we get right into the pirate ship levels here. I thought the pirate ship levels weren't till... That's every button I can hit, and there's no way to access any of those items I have saved up. I don't need them yet, but undoubtedly I will. Hey, Bullet Bill is here. Whoa, 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 okay. I believe it. Okay, popped right in the face. Always a nice, unpleasant surprise. Just what he needed. Me trying to avoid getting killed, just what I needed. For the person who has it all, avoiding death. Always a nice bonus. Is that like, um, what's his name? It's, well, this was before the Koopa Kids. So that wouldn't be Lemmy Koopa. It looks like him, though. Is he already dead? I, like, kind of accidentally hit him that third time. All right, hey, give me my thing. Woo! Weird Mario holding that. That wand, it's not even in his hand. It's like just floating just above his hand. I don't know if that's because it's magic or what. It's like, it's almost like you beat the game here, but obviously it didn't. It just rolled one, but it's like so dramatic. Like, it reminds me of Sonic 2 when you beat Robotnik for the last time and you like come down from his destroyed battleship. Except you don't get a magic wand from him because he's freaking Robotnik, not Merlin. Here's a letter from the princess. By the way, here's this Aladdin guy who just showed up with a coin in his turban. Oh, it's actually pretty well written for a kidnappee. I've enclosed a jewel that you won't be able to access because there's only three buttons on the controller and we didn't really tell you which one to use for that. But there's a jewel, I guess. You know, sell it to somebody. No idea. 
That door's locked, so really you can only go one way. When I think about it, Mario 3 is the game that started the whole trope of World 2 being the desert level. World 3 is like a beach level. It's, it's, I don't know if that's how it was in this game. I know World 2 is the desert level, though. I hated these blocks that would just jump around. The collision was always so buggy on them, even in this remake or remaster, whatever the hell you want to call it. Speaking of remasters, though, I cannot recommend enough the remaster of Metroid Prime. Had an absolutely delightful time with that. If you don't believe me, I streamed it just the other day. It's obvious that I genuinely, genuinely enjoyed that game just as much, if not more, than I remember enjoying it back in the day. This feels like something's going to happen here. Well, maybe not. Ha! Ha! Haha, ha, you get nothing. You get nothing, you get nothing. All right, maybe I'm playing better because it's just kind of a random stream. I'm not really sweating it. Just kind of playing it. Because I could swear, I played this game on my own. I'm like out of lives by now. Or even when I've played this on like my Monday Night Mario streams, I've struggled with it. Again, I'm still, I'm awake, but I'm not like as awake as I could be. Like I'm not tired, I'm not, I don't know. It's, it's been a... Been a decent week. It hasn't been like a super long week for work, no longer than usual. Um, but yeah, no, this has been, it's been a really good stretch for me. Not that anybody asked, but it's, it's been a good stretch. All right, let's try this stupidity again. I already messed that up. I mean, phew, wow, I made a monster, Mario. You evil genius. What the heck is that? Never do it again. Well, this is almost like a variation on the World One stage. You just made the quote-unquote grass, a different color. That mushroom being a little troll-tastic there. Not going down there. At least I could see it was coming this time. Let's see, we got some nice, lovely water there. Try not to fall into it, though, because the fish are not always so friendly. Hey, okay, let's try this. Just a way to pick up some extra coins, it looks like. You know, Mario's got a family, too, other than Luigi. He's got a Got to pay for expenses like anyone else. Got to pick up some extra change on the side while he's doing his little princess saving business, which, let's face it, can be a little slow, even though Princess Peach is getting herself kidnapped every other week. But, I mean, his clientele is kind of limited to Princess Peach. He's not saving any other princesses. You notice Rosalina always seems pretty self-sufficient. Maybe if they ever made a Mario Galaxy 3, which they totally should, by the way, they could have her. They could have him rescue Rosalina or something. Or maybe Bowser gets a hold of Rosalina's kingdom and, like, changes it into something. That actually be really cool. Right. I'm gonna chill for a second here. I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of talking, as I traditionally do. I don't want to overwhelm anybody as we take in all this Mario action. I didn't realize there was a castle already here, but there is. Uh, our first appearance of the Thwomp, the dreaded Thwomp enemy. Oh, we got Booze, too. I didn't know Booze appeared already. I thought they got, like, their own level later on. So, Bowser ain't messing around. He's just throwing whatever he has at you here. Of course, we all know these enemies now, because Mario's been around so long. But in some cases, this was, like, the first appearance of some of these things. So, we weren't really sure what to do yet. Of course, now we are. Well, you know, all the Mario enemies have, like, their own... Oh, that was dumb. Their own unique, like, behaviors that, you know, you just kind of get used to. They do mix it up from game to game, which I like. Obviously, this game was pretty straightforward as far as, like, what to do. It's funny, even though I don't play this game a super lot, I do remember this part pretty well. In fact, I remember this level is almost like a little mini maze, and it looks like I found my way to the end of it. Because if I had kept going there, I think there's a part with, like, more booze or something. But that would be going the wrong way at that point. Wow, I, again, accidentally beat that enemy, but it still counts. Now, give me my thingy, whatever I won. I don't know what I won. I won nothing. You win nothing, you win nothing. You basically win nothing. It makes you think you won something. Oh, that's accessible now. Yes, I would like to save that. Weird how you can only save at random times. Although with the new Nintendo Switch Online, you can save whatever you want. So that's not even an issue. Oh, there's another little game here. That's what I mean about the... Um, the map is pretty cool. Like, you, you gotta pay attention to the world map. You know, you can just go through it one through five or whatever, but, like, they put little mini-games and enemies there to kind of make it so you don't know what's coming next. This is complete luck, though. Okay, that was luck. 
Like, how was I supposed to know that? Now I can't make another mistake. Okay. Now I'm done. I'm done. But I get that. I get to keep the one up anyway. So I guess it's not a complete rip off. What is so? This, this actually goes into a level. I think. Yeah, it really does. It goes into like a two-second level that just gets you to the other side of the map. So now I can't get back to where I was, right? Like I have to. I guess I can just go through the pipe again. That's so weird. That's weird. Is what that is. I just want to go to that mushroom house before I keep going. Plus, I don't think I even need to use the pipe to get to. World 2-3 or whatever I'm at. Alright, let's see what nonsense I get to never use here. <laughs> Collect them all, and then just look at them, because you can't use them. Uh, actually, maybe I do have to go that way. No, no I, can, I can get to 3 without doing the pipe. That's alright, I can use the exercise. I'll, I'll walk over to it. Why not? Wow, alright, that thing was just landing right on me. I'm like, I thought I was safe. I thought wrong. knew that bastard. Oh, he tried to trick me, but I was inadvertently ahead of him. Wow, webcam. That's all that's impressing you, not the fact that I'm playing a Mario game? What's going on, Shads? It is a little weird that I'm playing, not that I'm playing this game, but that I'm playing this game with a webcam. Like, what could possibly happen in this game that's so... Impressive that I need a webcam to capture my reaction to it. I generally don't do webcam for this kind of game, but follow me here. Part of my reasoning is because of the the clipped edges. So I'm like, well, I could sneak my webcam on the left side or something. So that's kind of what I did. Yeah, how you doing, Chad? Thanks for joining the stream this morning. Or I guess, oh, hello. Oh, I got all, I got three of them. Sweet. Completely what I meant to do. Five up. Oh, I can't wait to lose all those lives. Hmm. All right. How you doing, uh, Shads? It's not Christmas. It's almost Valentine's Day. And it's really almost Super Bowl Sunday, which is not really a thing in Europe. I realize that. How do I get through that? Or do I? I gotta go through the sandstorm, apparently. Is this where the... Yeah, this is where the angry sun lives. I was like, I knew there was something about this area I didn't like. Watch out. Oh, what? Okay. I guess we can watch me react to that. That was kind of BS. There's really, like, no other way to go, though. Watch out. All right. Doing well will lurk during... Well, all right. You and Ram are both. You're my work lurkers. You're my work... My work lurkers? My lurk workers? Something, something with work and lurking. I don't know. There's a rhyme to be had in there. Let's watch me lose all my extra lives on this one part of the game. Whoa, okay. Oh, that didn't like me doing that. Hey, are you excited about the remaster of um, Kirby? The new, uh, well, not new, but the, the remaster of the Return of Dream World or whatever it is? I wasn't at first. I kind of am now, just because that's like one of my favorite Kirby games. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, the sun. I got too close to the sun, and well, I done got burned. Yep. Those extra lives are going to drop faster than, I don't know, something that gets dropped. Yep, those extra lives are going to drop pretty damn fast. Don't you know? All right, let's go. It's like before you even get to the part where you have to run from the sun, which is basically this part, then you got to worry about just timing those jumps, really threading the needle there. Super Bowl Sunday right now. So close to the end. Got it. I even defeated them with a star, which is fitting because the sun is a star. So how's that for a little inception? All right. What useless nonsense can I get in this mushroom house? 
It's like, we come up with a game for you. If you can guess Toad's social security number, we'll give you a coin that you can use in five levels. It can only be redeemed once, and it has to be on a Wednesday. Here, 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 here I have a fire flower. I got like seven of those just, just sitting on. All right, I got two, but still. What's the point of them? Do I get a free one? I don't know. How the hell do you get up there, I wonder? Alright, that was not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted- Yep, that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, I'll get that, but it'll go right down the fucking drain. Oh shit, okay. Oh, come on, really? It went down the other way. Fucking Mario games, man. Ah. Oh. Well, it's a good thing you can just randomly get five lives every now and then. Because you will need them. Mushroom there is evil. Even if you can get it, you can't get it. Now, there is something over here. All right, well, there would have been. Oh, oh wow, okay. That really is just what I needed, because I'm probably going to get pegged by something here. I mean, this dick and this other dick. I'm gonna get these coins, though, because I'm gonna need them. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I saw what you were doing. One more and I get a five up, which I'll then blow in the next level. So take that, Mario enemies. Take that to the bank and smoke it. Actually, they probably will. So wait, I don't even have to do... Oh, I guess I do. Say, do I even have to do the fifth level? I mean, I'll do it anyway, just to be honest. Ish. Oh god, chain chomp. Maybe, maybe honesty is not the best policy here. Okay, so that does not do crap. Watch out. Who left their chain chomps out here anyway? Like, seriously, people are so irresponsible. There's got to be something in one of these blocks. If I can get the whole ducking controls to work. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, now I can get in here and nothing under them. That's a waste of time. These are basically just best to stay off the ground level, I guess. Oh, jeez, all right. Is something there? Oh, it's a coin. Oh, thanks, Mario. Better than nothing. Nothing? Okay. All right. We got a little thing, a little vine here. Probably get me up to a shortcut. Maybe. Or maybe just more coins. All right. A little bonus game. Give me something for my troubles. All right. Give me nothing. Oh, wait a minute. I can actually get that now. It's always worth exploring. Sometimes. All right, so I think if I get that thing, which I should be able to get to it, right? If I get to that P-block. Which may or may not ever happen. But if I do, I should be able to... Got it. Okay, got an extra life out of that at least. It's not really the best hidden bonus ever. I mean, just ended up amounting to like 10 extra coins, but hey, that's 10 coins I didn't have before. Oh, I got it! I actually did not. I was like, I was thinking about it, but I wasn't thinking about it. Second time in a row. Now, you talk about that being just what you needed. That was just what I needed. 
Ah, oh, this thing again. Oh, oh, I just passed it. Come on. It wasn't going to give me two big wins in a row, because that probably would have been like another three lives or something. Game is occasionally nice. Now I'm going to have to fight one of these guys. That's about right. What the hell is that? Am I ever going to use... What the heck even is that? It's just like a music block. This is the level before the castle encounter. I hope it's easy. It's not going to be. I have to go to this pyramid, right? It's a pyramid scheme is what it is, quite literally. I'll be honest with you, this is not what I thought the inside of the pyramid... Oh, this is the level that I was playing during Retro last time. It just looks a little nicer. See, it's just what he needed. What'd I tell you? Mario's a handy guy, you know? He can always, always use something. We'll figure out a solution to this mess he's gotten himself into. Bobby's Bong Mayhem. Yes. Who's the pup with all the luck? It's Dog. Dog? Dog, Dog is it, baby. <laughs> is there a way to just hold on to those shells? Because that's what I have to do. I have to basically get it. Oh, damn it, I'm not even trying to do that. There we go. Okay, now I can get through there. I think you really are. I think I asked you that. Or no, that was Mario Kart 64. This, this wasn't on online yet. Fuck. All right. But yeah, you really are. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, now he grabs it. All right. Let's try to get out of here. I never liked this level. Oh, really? See what I mean about the freaking troll game here? This is just ridiculous on some of this stuff. Game be like, nope. You don't get out of this one. And I don't. Of course, I gotta start the whole thing again. Try to figure out the secret to grabbing those shells instead of just kicking them out of the way. I mean, all right, bong, bong, bongerson. I think you're really letting this, like, bong joke go on, well, honestly, a minute too long. How do I just, like, get the shells? Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. All right, whatever. I never, I don't know why this level just annoys the crap out of me. Sometimes you kick the shells, sometimes he grabs them. I actually want him to just, like, grab them. Oh my god, I fell for it again. I fucking hate that. It's so stupid. It's really freaking stupid. It's not even, like, funny. Like, it's just stupid. Like, it's not even like, oh, wow, they really came up with something clever there. It's like, it's just a ramp that goes straight down and you die. Like, it's just, man. Eh. Didn't seem like it was that fun then and not that fun now. Yeah, I'm just getting right to that. I know there's a mushroom, though, so that might be worth going back for. Or I might just die right now. Who knows? Did I mention I am not that good at this game? I don't think I had to mention it. I think it's it's pretty pretty obvious. So you just want to get out of this level. Nope. Don't go down the ramp. Oh, that crap. Yeah, 
not much there. Hey, what's going on? Oh, all right. Well, just here just in time to watch me. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, they like broke the freaking collision on that. I was actually out of the goddamn. Oh, that sucks. I was out of the pyramid, too. But nice to see you, Mars. Sorry you had to see that. Now I got to do all this nonsense again. But thank you for joining the stream nonetheless. Nice to see you here on this Saturday morning day. Nah, I'm easily distracted. It just sucks because I was so close. So close, but still so dead. See, now I'm going to die another eight times in this freaking pyramid. But that's all right. I handled death well. As you can tell, I'm a good sport about it. I really am not a good sport whatsoever about it. I blame Shads. You know what? I do too. I don't know why. I just do. I actually legally can't blame Shads. He's like... He's supported this channel for quite a while now, and that's it's good enough for me to, to still stick with him. Even though I, I still blame him. How you doing, Mars? Got any big plans for the uh, Super Bowl tomorrow? Okay, maybe better plans than I have. Exactly. Very nice. Almost deadly nice. Super Bowl is not so big here. Oh, hold on. We have some breaking news, and it hasn't shown up on my stream yet, but apparently Jeffichu is raiding with a party of five, which is more people... Oh, God, that's loud. Which is more people than I've ever met in my entire life. So, much obliged, Jeffichu. Thank you for the raid. And I don't mean the bug spray in this case, although that is also helpful. Hopefully you're having a good afternoon here. As I'm going up against my... Okay, because that's a very... Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Jeffachu. What's going on? It's not Retromania, but it's Retro Time. Time to shout out to Jeffachu13. Yeah, go ahead. I do enjoy... Oh, hi, Mark. All right, I don't enjoy these ass hats. Whoa! hey oh hey oh Oh, the habit betrayed. Eh, habits do that. Hey, there's a hammer. I was just joking earlier about it being hammer time, but now it really is. Is Jeffachu ready? For the Super Bowl. I guess we'll see. Playing Super Mario. Oh, there you go. Well, then this isn't that much of a change. I do enjoy that game as well. It's kind of a tricky one, though. The king has been transferred. How does this keep happening? You guys gotta guard your magic wand. It's all about you, girl, on your sixth. It really is apparently all about me on my proverbial 16th birthday. Yes, yeah, Super I mean, apparently right now, this is part two of the Mario collab. Part one was the golden coins. Hey, Bullet Bill is here. You remember Bullet Bill? You remember him being here? Surprised you aren't doing Splatfest right now. I'm surprised you're surprised by that. Not when there's so much great Mario action to be had. God damn it, Bullet Bill. He's everywhere. So who else we got in the raid here? We got five people. We got Jeff Chu, and I assume four others, and some other guy or girl. Nice to have you all. I'm surprised you're not doing it. All right, fine. Surprises all around. But I'll tell you what's not a surprise is how much fun we're having here on the channel this morning or afternoon. Now I'm pretty sure we're afternoon. God damn it, Bullet Bill really is right there. And I have no power ups for the boss. Cool. Anyway, gotta run. All right, fine. And I'm dead. Gotta speed keyed. You really do have to speed some keyed, proverbially speaking, of course. Well, thanks for the raid. Always much appreciated. Hopefully, I'm not gonna be as good as Jeffachu at, at these platforming games, but hopefully I'll be good enough. Good enough! And we got the Super Bowl tomorrow. Oh, wait, I was gonna say, do I get a game too? All right, let's play a little mini game here. Oh, it actually still kept the board from last time. 
God damn it. Yay, that nonsense. Complete bullshit luck, all right. Super Bowl, I do enjoy when Tom Brady's not in it. That is pretty great. Then again, he hasn't been in it in a couple of years, and now he'll never be in it again. Yay! Until he unretires again. My other favorite part, what, the cheerleaders? I mean, who said that? Well, oh, I don't care about it. What's there to fight about? There's nothing, there's no more uh, drama. Which I quite enjoy. And you seems the one who always starts it. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I have to go chase the fucking pirate ship, don't I? Yeah, I'm working on it. I don't see you doing anything. So now I gotta find the pirate ship. You get back to your pirate ship. Well, first I kind of want to go to that mini game thing. Anyway, laters. Well, it's good to see you again, Sir Jepachu. Check me out tomorrow if you have some time. I'll likely be playing the Chaos Bowl sometime, probably around noon. All right, let's see if I can get any more prizes here. I really cannot. Okay. God damn it. I don't like this game. Doesn't give me the things I want, therefore I don't like it. Something like that, I don't know. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Jeffachu and friends of Jeffachu. Going to try and stop this second pirate ship thing. See how that goes right now. Sure are a lot of bullet bills. Look at all them chickens. is just what I needed. Bullet bills everywhere. Shit, they're still alive. I hate those little tiny wrench things, because you forget about them with everything else going on, and then all of a sudden you just get nicked in the freaking shin by one. Alright, I guess that's it for that. Admittingly, these bosses are sometimes easy, it just depends on your timing. Sometimes you get into the boss and, like, they're immediately doing their attack and you just get hit with it. It's a whole thing. All right, that was the seizure part of the game. After beating the second boss. But yes, welcome one, welcome all to another fun day stream here with Chaos Blur. I'll see what I can do to entertain you all for as long as I possibly can. Another letter from the princess. Hot dog, what's going on with her? The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. For some reason, we didn't just give that to you in the beginning of the game. Perfect clear? I don't know if that was a perfect clear. It was a clear. Oh, well, it made it so perfect. So Sonic Spin I mean, Sonic Spin can be an entertaining game. No, it really is a beach level. They really are just following the later established tradition of... What, there's a pipe before I can even get to the first level? All right. Who am I to argue with Mario Logic? What are you talking about, Toast? Do you love this game? So I can't even... What is the point of this? I can't even go there because I don't have the key. And I can't go anywhere else. There we go. Now I can go other places. Ooh, water. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, great. Blooper. P is stored in the balls. I mean, all right. Oh, this nonsense. Yeah, I'm dead. I think I just peed myself on that one. Hey, oh. Now nah, we got this. We can do this, right? Not that difficult. But it's very difficult. Especially when I don't know how to access any of my stored power-ups I may or may not have. I 
keep the water levels. It, it literally is just all the most annoying enemies in the game all in one place. This is probably not worth the risk I'm taking. Fuck. Ah! Oh! Mama Mia's right. God damn it. Just not my day. There's probably like a secret power up somewhere up here or something. Like, I don't know. There's gonna be something to balance out the difficulty here. Of course, it won't make it easy because then it wouldn't be a secret power up. Even there. There we go. It's almost worth it. That's going to fall, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get to it. Oh, no, I can get to it. All right, cool. Can I go up here? Uh, no, I can't because it shoots the freaking bubbles out of it. Right, well, now I'm, I could be a little riskier because I can try to get through that pipe. Or I could just get through it anyway. All right, I'll take it. It wasn't, like, amazing or anything, but it got the job done. Oh, yeah. These are all going to be water levels, aren't they? Oh, no, okay, I kind of like this one. I like the uh, atmosphere of this. I don't know if I'm going to like it so much when I keep falling in the water, but I like it now. We got the little donut blocks. Okay, got to get out of the water. I can get to that. That really is just what I needed. Get some fried fish here. Or just blow them up. Yo, what up, people? Take that. Cheap, cheap. Hey! Oh, this dink. I knew that thing was going to hit me, too. How do I get out of here? Oh, hold on. Speaking of Sonic, which is my favorite franchise of all time, I am going to go ahead and put on the Sonic hat, which has seen a fair number of redeems lately, since I put that in as a reward. Mr. Dink, I broke your grill. I really did. I broke the hell out. 90s had such random cartoons. I mean, not that cartoons have gotten any less random, but... And I'm dead. Well, I had a feeling I was going to die there. It just did not have a good feeling to it altogether, but I digress. What do I have? Five? Five lives left. It's not surprising. It's about what I started with. All kind of evens out at the end. Oh, that's gone. Yep, that was pretty much... God damn, I don't know why I thought a fire flower was going to pop out of there, even though I didn't have <coughs> a freaking mushroom thing. Yeah, well, we got further than usual. I'm not even going to go for that. It's just not worth it. It's probably other ones or other power-ups or something down the line. Watch out. Woo! Woo! There really are, like, no checkpoints in these levels. 
I'll take a one-up out of it. But, like, yeah, there's no checkpoints in these levels. It's just straight A to B, like, as far as I know. And luckily, they're not that long levels, but you'd still think there'd be a checkpoint in some of them. All right, let's get some useless item I'm never going to do anything with. <laughs> it looks really nice out today. It's about 44 degrees, which for this area is nice. Hey, the frog suit. Doesn't mean I get a frog suit. It just means I get some arbitrary item that sits there and takes up a, a spot on a little grid that we may or may not ever use. You know, I'll never know what happens when people raid me. Like, they'll raid me with, like, all these viewers, and half of them don't even say anything, and then the other half are just gone. But I still appreciate the gesture. Oh, what is this nonsense? We got rising water. Got this dingus. How am I going to survive long enough to get that mushroom? The answer, surprisingly, is I will survive. Much like Gloria Gaynor would happen to say. Oh, god damn. Took care of the big fish. Now we got the little fish. Very weird scrolling pattern in this level, isn't it? Okay, let's go down here. I partially gave up on streaming. I can't maintain. I never talk. Twitch never... <coughs> okay! <clears throat> Everything you said is completely accurate. So, like, when you ask me, like, why I cut off a stream after, like, an hour or whatever, like, that's usually why. Like, and again, it's nothing against you or Rem or anybody, but, yeah, I, I actually completely get that. I'm not saying I give up, obviously. I still do it. But, yeah, I, I pretty much, you're talking about what everybody experiences. Which is, you know, people come up and, like, you know... Right, like, well, Twitch only pays you for reach a certain amount of money, but, like, it's not even about the money, it's just, I'll keep doing it as long as it's fun, and it's still fun to me, it's not, like, anything mind-blowing, but it's still enjoyable to me, obviously, or I wouldn't keep doing it, but, yeah, I, I've pretty much accepted that the majority of my streams will be what you just said, you know, two or three people that never talk, and just kind of talking to thin air, that happens a lot. And that's not just to me, that's a lot of people. So, like, you know, like I said, some nights I can deal with it, and I just have a good time regardless. Other times I'm like, eh, I could be doing something else right now. Right now, I'm kind of in between. I'm having a good time with the game, but it has been kind of a quiet chat. But, again, I kind of expect that, so... That's why I try to play a game that's at least going to keep me entertained, even if the people don't. Fat asses talking in the thin air. What's going on, Scrap Facts? Did you end up going as a SmackDown last night? My name is John Lee. I am... White Bobby Games. Also, you know what you just came up with there is the name of your upcoming podcast, Fat Asses Talking Into Thin Air. Heyo, check it out. Available soon on iTunes, wherever great podcasts are listened to. But right now, Drake. I may stream... Yeah, I mean, like, still stream. Like, stream stuff that you like. Stream stuff that... You know, stream stuff that... You know, it's unique to you, so, like, even if it doesn't get a million views, you can still, like, enjoy it. Because that's basically what I do. Strap's bong-ripping podcast. If I text you, yeah, well, I'm either working or streaming, and I'm not working, so, yeah. Um, I, I, I didn't know you texted me, obviously. I've been on for about, uh, close to an hour. I, I, che I checked my phone before I went on. I didn't see anything, but my phone also is kind of slow at getting texts, so that's, that's also it. So really, yeah, your, your odds of contacting me are a little more than 50-50. Like, you'll probably get through to me, and you just might have to take some very weird ways to do it. But as always, it's nice to see you on the stream strap. Um, to, you know, Toaster has this new obsession with bong ribbon, ribbon which I think started with freaking um, his joke about Toy Story or whatever. Toaster's sun-ripened grilled eggplant vlog. I do enjoy whatever the hell that nonsense is about. There's a lot of doors here. Oh, these ghosts move faster, too. I'll go through this one! And what'll happen? Really nothing. Hey, one up! No, 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 no! Get back here! Mr. President, I have something to tell you! Wait, wasn't I just over here, but it just took me to, like, a different part of the level? What is the point of this? The ghosts of Sue... Shama, okay. 
really I can't read all the comments with the tenacity I would like to when I'm I'm in my game zone here. All right, I kind of figured that wasn't going to go well. Another one of these. Why not? I've already got like three of them. What was your favorite Mario game, Strap? Or did you have one back in the days? Okay, that is just patently not true. Like, I mean, first of all, you talk to me like every day. Like, on, on stream, every day that I stream, which is a lot of days, and, like, you've asked me, like, four times if I'm coming over to your house, and every time I say yes, because I still plan to for Sunday. So I don't know what you mean. Like, if you invite me to stuff, I generally will show up if I can. And even on Facebook, I answer you on Facebook all the time. You don't text me, so I can't really say I answer you in text, but... Sucks on a laptop. Where's that PC? hey -o! Actually, you know what? I don't know. I was talking about this last night how even some of my friends with, like, really good PCs are having issues on Twitch, and I really think it's more of a Twitch thing. I'm not saying my PC can't use an upgrade. It definitely can, but... I don't think it's as simple as, like, you get a... No, oh, damn, I actually didn't see that coming. You get a better PC, and all of a sudden you're, like, you know... No, no problems on Twitch anymore. Like, I feel like there's still gonna be problems on Twitch, but they're gonna be on Twitch's end. Alright, I gotta put up a little more of a challenge, I'll admit. So that's why... That's another reason with the streaming. Like, I try to take it seriously, but then I'm like... How can I take something seriously that one day works perfectly and the other day just decides to blow up? Like, it's it's really hard to do that. I guess as I get older, I just kind of get to that point where I'm like, screw it. I'll go on a mall tour. Right, here we go. World 4? Oh, not World 4. Level 4. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go to this first. Try my luck. I need a win after this. I'm running out of lives. Eh, I'm never gonna win that. But when I do, you know, I don't know. I'll I'll feel better about myself or some crap. Let's see what surprises await me here. Oh, it's actually like a regular daytime level, not like a weird beach level or some nonsense. Oh, really, I did not see the second fireball coming, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get hit with that. Because like, I was all prepared for that first fireball. I'm like, you have that first fireball. I don't care. I'm ready for it. That second one, though, mm, that's going to be some timing. And in my case, it was bad timing. See, now I know the second one's coming. So now he'll shoot a third one. Learning, but it doesn't really matter in Mario games when you learn because they'll just change it up at any given moment. At a time, What the hell? He's dropping little ones? See what I mean? Like, how was I supposed to see that coming? I wasn't. The game is a dick. Oh, seriously? Ah, oh, mamma mia. Ah, oh, all over my nice pair of overalls. Damn, what a disappointment. I have found potentially, and I don't want to get too excited here. I could beat this game. Yeah, I'm sure you can. A lot of people have all these cheats. But I have found a workaround if the audio starts cutting out, which I hope it doesn't. But the other night it happened. In fact, it happened last night, and I apparently fixed it by doing something so stupidly simple that it makes me wonder why this platform has issues with audio to begin with. Which is why I get frustrated. I don't get frustrated that there's issues. I get frustrated that they're so inconsistent and there's no, like, clear-cut strategy to get through them. Like, it's not like, oh, you just didn't study enough and, like, so you don't know how to fix it. It's like, no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You can't study insanity. Like, you can't be prepared for every little piece of bullshit this system's gonna throw at you. You just can't be. And even if you are, you you might be ready for this set of bullshit, but they have another set of bullshit right behind door number two that you're never going to see coming. Twitch is trying... I mean, they probably are. They're anything phobic. And I don't know why that came out, but all right. I mean, that that's, that's a separate issue. That's a politics issue. I'm talking about technology issues. That, that's why I get mad. I don't get mad... That, like, if it was an issue... Like, I had that issue with my webcam for a while... And, like, it actually had a logical solution that was a solution that actually stayed. So, like, those kind of problems are just whatever. They're a little annoying, but you can solve them. Like, you can't solve Twitch deciding on the 18th minute that your stream is just going to suck. You can't solve that. You can try, but it's just, it's just dumb. Like, it's just, there's not a solution to that. It's just, Twitch has decided that, well, that's the Biden State of the Union's another piece of shit. But I'm just saying, like... I guess Twitch is kind of like Biden, because it's like, at any, at any point, we're just going to cheat. 
at any given point, we're just going to cheat. Basically, yeah, that is actually a good point. But what was the fix? For me, and I don't know, it, maybe I just got lucky, I switched in and out of my scene. I'm not going to do it right now, but like I basically just went as if I was going to reintroduce the stream and then went back into the stream, if that makes sense. Like I, I played like five seconds of my intro and then I went back into the stream and the audio and video was fixed. I don't know why. That, that's what I mean about how stupid this is. That might not work every time. I might have just gotten lucky, but it, it works. I think it's worked like twice now. It, it's not weird. It's Twitch. It, it, honestly, that's why I do stuff like, you know, try hitting a different button or something. It's like, if the internet's broken, it should always be broken. Like, it doesn't... It, it's so stupid. I swear they're over there at Twitch laughing their asses off. Like, huh, let's, let's unplug the audio for five minutes and see what they do. Like, I swear, there, there's got to be a monkey over there just doing that. Now that I'm done talking about Biden, let's talk about Twitch. Man, for fuck's sake. But yeah, having a happy day here so far. I really am. Looking forward to a Super Bowl-packed weekend. Well, that'll be more tomorrow, but still. Oh, all right, this is bullshit. And that's my rant on why Twitch is basically... It's not even just Twitch. It's just technology in general. It's just right now I'm on Twitch, so that's the relevant thing. Plop. I mean, yes, plop. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get the last star. I still get a one-up for that, I think. I really do. I'll take it. So, yeah, what's going on, Strap? Anyone else who's here, welcome to the stream. Oh, damn, there's a lot of levels in this world. I really did not know that. Playing some Super Mario 2. Oh, no, 3. Wow, I forgot the name of the game I'm playing. That's legitimate. There's <coughs> just a boat chilling over there. Reminds me of, like the old Pokemon games where you'd have to go on a boat to uh, like catch Lapras or something. I have no choice but to fight this thing. I don't know what's happening now. I almost never made it this far in the game. Oh, that's gonna... Yep, that was predictable as fuck. But yeah, strap facts actually, I mean, a, well, a lot of people can appreciate this because it's funny as hell. I got a message from somebody that most of you don't know named Bob Brayman, and it was like just this long-winded message that basically equi equi was the equivalent of I'm done with Irv, which I kind of figured. I mean, I didn't think he was even still working on this, but I, I, I almost can't even tell you what the message said. You just, I just have to like tell you guys in person at some point. It's so ridiculous how long this message is and just how funny it is. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't think Irv has really been that mean to Bob Brayman. I mean, they barely talk. But anyway. Irv's even made enemies with people he barely talks to. I'm just like, how do you do that? Yeah, actually, I've done that. There's people who don't like me that I barely talk to. Oh, time to die again. Although, in some cases, I don't know if I just perceive they don't like me or they really don't like me, but there just seems to be people that... It's not Bob Raymond, but whatever. There just seem to be people that just don't like me, and I can just sense it. And again, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, again, it's one of those things. I'm just not compatible with everybody. I get it. I really do. I'm, I'm not, like, trying to be mean or anything. Like, I just, I get why my style doesn't work with everybody. And it used to bother me. Now I'm just kind of like, well, that's just how it is. Like, I can either try to change my personality for, like, each individual scenario or not. I mean, yeah, Amanda's one of them, but in Amanda's case, I actually hate her, which is fairly rare. I usually I usually am the one hated, not the one hating. Although, there is kind of general unrest with me, general unrest with a number of people. I think I turned strap facts off with all my negative talking, which, you know, generally I'm, I'm a complex person, you know? I, I try to preach this positivity that I do have, believe it or not. I just, you know, I feel like negativity is just more entertaining. Tired of hearing I talk about Amanda. I mean, oh, you talk about Amanda? I mean, you talk about her sometimes, but I don't really think you talk about her that much. But no, like, I, I think negativity is just more entertaining. Like, I've tried to be positive, like, on camera, but people don't want it. Like, my, my videos that get the most views are, like, me yelling at the TV or me getting mad about something. Like, that just markets well. I don't know why. It just, it just... It just does. Like, people want to watch me, you know, rant about how much I hate a city or how much I hate a person or how much I hate a sports team. They don't want to watch me talk about, like, gee, the weather's nice today. I really like all of you. I think it's a great day. I have no problem talking positively, but 
people just don't want to see it. They're like, oh, okay, that's whatever. Like, you know, that's that's like your coworker that you can just talk to and be like, hey, nice weather today. But, you know, when you got me, like, going on these tirades about this random stuff, that seems to be what draws the people in. Which, again, it is what it is. But just because I talk about that stuff a lot doesn't mean I'm inherently negative. It just means that I'm just trying to give people what they want. In a way, it's almost positive. It's like, oh, I'm just, you know... I'm trying to please people. You know, it's a good thing. Yeah, John talks about Amanda. I mean, you know what? John can talk about whoever he wants to talk about. Like, honestly, I, just because I hate somebody doesn't mean, like, no one can talk to them or whatever. Like, I don't care. Maybe at one time I'd be more passionate about it. But right now it's just kind of like, I'm good with where my life is. There's stuff I need to work on that I am working on. So if, if, if I get mad at anyone else, it's not really personal. It's just... Okay, I guess technically it is personal if I'm getting mad specifically at a person, but you know what I mean. Let's just play some freaking Mario 3. You know, that, that's why I like streaming at the end of the day. As much as I just complained about everything, like, I like streaming because I just died. <laughs> I like streaming because, you know, you just talk about what's happening, you know? Like, you just play a game. Actually, I am going to make, like, a little... No, how do I do a save point on here? No. There we go. I'm going to create a suspend point, just in case I die here. I don't want to have to go back to, like, World 3-4 or whatever. Like, if I lose all my lives. That is one thing about this game that can get annoying. That and the fact that that crap happens all the time, where the freaking, like, power-up goes the like opposite way for no other reason than to just be like, Screw you, Mario. You ain't getting that. Watch out. I say World 3 is pretty damn long. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that was pretty predictable, and yet here I am getting hit with it. I do like how you can kind of take this bridge to kind of go around, too. So, let's see what this level's about. Well, it seems like a harder version of an earlier level. Whoa! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh, god damn! No idea what the point of those blocks are. I'm basically instantly dead. I was kind of wondering that. It still sucks, but like, I, I get it. You get eaten, you can't really come back from that, but... I mean, yeah. Thank thanks for your support. How do I make this thing not spawn in the wrong direction? Sure, it's got to go that. God damn it! Surprised you didn't go for warp whistles because I don't really like doing cheap stuff like that. Like I know what you're saying. I know there's ways to do that. First of all, I wouldn't know where to look. Second of all, am I really that lazy? I can't play this game or whatever. See how far back is this gonna knock me now? Uh, actually, I'm right where I was. So all right, I'm not gonna bother. I'll just try these levels again, I guess. I thought it was gonna knock me back to like World Three three or whatever when I did the first castle. See, like, this is such a troll situation. You cannot win here. Alright, I just won. I'm gonna just stop talking about that then. I do wish there were, like, any checkpoints in this level, because, like, stuff like that can happen at any time. Like that, and then your your level's just over, and, and you don't get a checkpoint. You just have to start the whole thing over and hope that doesn't happen again. Like, you have to have a near-perfect run. You know, which is fine for, like, the hardcore people, but, like, what if I just want to play the level and just try to get better at it? Like, I'm dead. <laughs> that was pretty, uh, that was pretty basic death. That was a fun little ditty, wasn't it? Alright, so what are we doing here? Um, uh, whatever, I don't know. I'm basically gonna go for the fastest route to the castle at this point. Like, I, I was interested in trying all the levels, because I'm like, oh, there's a lot of levels, there could be some fun there. And then I'm just like, nope. <laughs> if I can get through, like, one or two of these to get to the castle, that's gonna follow me and kill me, yep. Game trolled me, or I rather knew about the trolling before it even was a thing. Oh, 
God, this level's actually annoying. Between the rising level, the instant kill fish. God damn! Wow! That's a mama me and a half. Holy shit. Like, what is the reward for getting to that level? Just instant destruction? I completely expected there to be one of those there. One of those spike throwing guys. Those things throw them fast, I gotta say. Like, I'm used to them from the modern Mario games where they, you know, throw up the little spike ball and then throw it. But they throw it at, like, a decent speed. Here, they're just like, nope, you're dead. So, I mean, I see there's other ways to go, but... I mean, straightest way to the castle is, like, right there. Now, I've only got, like, one life left. I'm kind of screwed here, and I don't have enough coins to even be close to another extra life, but we'll see what happens. Oh, great, a water castle. This is going to be one of those levels with, like, the homing fish, isn't it? Oh, this is going to suck some ass, and this is my last life. It really is just what I needed. Oh, they got ghost platforms here. All right. That's a thing to worry about. Just realize this isn't a pirate ship level. Let's just realize I hate these dicks. Really? He's going right into flight mode. Oh, I got him! Or did I? I have a feeling there's going to be more to this than this. This level has been very convoluted to this point. I kind of doubt that's it. I mean, if that's it, then that's it. But I kind of doubt that that's it. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, save my progress, because you're about to throw some nonsense at me, I'm sure. Wouldn't mind going back here. I noticed that it's not taking me to World 4, so there's got to be more to it. I could really use a win here. Thanks, Mario. That's about right. So I can't go further there. I could take the warp pipe. There's only World 3. What are there, like, eight worlds in this? Oh, great. Of course, it puts me right by a hammer, brother. It doesn't matter. I got one life left. I did save my progress after beating the castle, so there's that. And I'm dead. <laughs> there goes that last life, I guess. <laughs> guess I'll die. Womp. But yeah, hopefully we're all having a good day out there. We're going to continue here a little bit longer. Do my thing, yo. Oh, wow. It puts me right there, so I basically have to fight him now. <laughs> Like how I just got in there, just got it done. Hey, look at that, I got a hammer. How fitting. Can't wait to never really see any value in that. So now what? Because I'm still not out of World 3. Even though I beat the castle or whatever. Mario beat the castle. Alright, so I gotta get to that freaking... Uh, I really don't want to play that world. <laughs> in case you guys couldn't tell, World 8 or whatever. I guess I'm gonna probably have to at some point. Well, because how do I get down there to the freaking boat? This is just going to take me, I don't know, somewhere else. 
Well, maybe now without that hammer brother there. Can't go that way. Oh, there is another pipe there. I can go here, try to win something. Oh, yeah, this nonsense. May as well be just a freaking casino. Finally! Holy crap! All right. Wow, that was dumb. I tried to drink my soda without opening the bottle cap. That was stupid. Now that's like glowing, whatever's in there. So I can go up here, I guess. Maybe. I don't fucking know. I'm clearly not done with this world, because it didn't, like, take me to the last part of it. So now I'm on this side. I'm right back where I started. I don't know, though. I think this respawned or something. Yeah, pick some item and maybe something will happen. I don't know. It's the freaking frog thing. I'm the frog. What do those do? They don't do anything. Like, the boat is right there. Even if I get past World 9 or whatever, or Level 9, it's not gonna let me, like, go to it. Screw it. Try this level again. This is the really hard, scrolly level. With the giant instant death fish. And the no checkpoints, because that's just how we do. I'm dead. It actually doesn't even matter if that thing eats me or just touches me. I was gonna be dead either way. But it just eats you, just to be a little extra sadistic about it. Damn. So wait, where would the pipe take? It doesn't really matter. Let me just try to get around here. Could go in here, maybe. Get some uh, useless item that'll never do anything. Like a fire flower. Like, what am I stamp collecting? Like, there seems to be no, like, objective there. It's just like, keep getting those and hope for the best. <clears throat> Like, right there should literally be the way to the boat. There, there's no way to the boat. Oh, hold on. I can actually go to this thing. I don't know what it's going to do, but I can do it. Oh, wait. It's this game again? Oh, but it's got, like, more things in it, so it's harder to win. Ah. Oh. I go down to here. It's not it's not gonna let me get to level nine or whatever. Level eight's so ridiculously impossible. Like I guess you just have to deal with it. I don't know. I mean again, how do you get to the goddamn boat? Like I know you gotta get to the boat. This game is pretty alright, fine. Again, I'm not like a native Mario player, really. I I, I dabble in Mario. As you guys can tell. Hammer to break the rocks. Oh, you mean the hammer that I have like eight bazillion of somewhere, but it never lets me like... Oh, apparently I can save. I can never actually access any of them. Oh, wait a minute. The fuck is this? What? Oh, oh, I get it. Like the hammer up cards from like the old e-reader. Oh, that's how... All right, all right, fine. Then I'm just going to do that, because I'm, I'm not sitting here and doing this. So you mean to tell me... Are you sitting... That's all I had to do? Oh, fuck this game. Now I'm on a boat. I'm still in World 3, by the way. That's all I had to do this whole... I kept getting those stupid items, and I'm like, how the hell do I use them? That's how you use them? So what if I use, like, the fire flower or whatever? Does that just... God, that's so stupid. Who the hell was going to figure that out? Look, I got a whole sheet of these damn things. I'm not even at levels anymore. These are all just mini games. Oh, this nonsense again. Yay. It's a very weird third world. Now it's like going even faster. I wasn't even beating it when it was going the normal speed. 
All right, give me some other item or whatever. I got plenty of those hammers if I need to break more rocks. Uh, actually, I think I only have one more hammer. Now that I know what they do. Where the hell am I going here? I guess I'm going to the right, but I just didn't know if there was any secret or something laying around here. Why is this game so convolutedly laid out? Alright, pick another thing. Let's get some more items. Got a million fire flowers. So that couldn't hurt. Oh, there's the final castle. It's over here, I guess. I can't get over there, can I? Oh, this is annoying as hell. Hold on, the bridge is up. Can I just go under the bridge? Can I do anything with the bridge? Why is there a bridge there? That doesn't even make any sense. The only places I can dock are like here and there. So I need a way to get to the pipe that would get me over there. Now, who the hell was gonna figure this is stupid? I don't think I've ever made it this far in this game, by the way. Well, there is a pipe there. I'm trying to think of what pipes I haven't tried. Well, I haven't tried that pipe because I can't, because I can't get past World Freaking 8 to get to World 9. But if I get to World 9, then I would get to that pipe. I want to eat crab. I mean, all right. Do you like crab? Not particularly. Are there any of these that can do anything? I know the hammer can break a rock, but... What's, like, this weird music box one do? Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna end up getting stuck playing this stupid level, but before I do... Can I at least get, like, a starting one up or something? I really can. All right, that's good at least. Let's see if I can just burn this thing alive. Good. Now I can at least sleep in peace. Now that I know that the power-ups are always available. God damn it! <sighs> I hate this so much. Oh, what the hell? Why am I going this far back? Yo, still here, just lurking. Ah, uh, what's up? You're playing some Mario 3 action. Don't know for how much longer, but for right now, having a pretty good time with it. Despite my outright outrage. Rem, get me some King Crab. Oh, damn it, I didn't activate a power-up. No, whatever, I'll just die instantly. That's all, no big deal. We'll just die pretty early on here. Yep, I didn't even care. I literally just, I, it was so predictable. Why it has to spin me all the way back here, I have no effing idea. Such a Mario troll thing. I like to suck on. Are we still talking about the crab? Hey yo. P is. St oh my god. Ah, that's a tough one actually. Um. P is in. Fuck it, I don't know. P is in den balls Gaston. I have no idea. I don't think we have any right now. Lol. You and this obsession with P right now, I have no idea. But anyway, let's see. What can I get? What does this one do? What the hell is that power up? Or across the street, yo. I have no idea what I just turned into. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fly over this shit. I don't know what any of these do! I don't care! I hate this level, I'm flying over it. Because apparently I can do that. I don't know what any of these do! I li Other than the ones that are obvious, like the fire flower and the frog suit, I don't know what these do. Good. Good. Not good that you're done with me, but... I don't know what they do! 
Well, I'm saving it for nothing. Besides, I'll probably get another one anyway. Fucking to poops them out every other second. Winter. Okay, look at this nonsense. Okay, that I know what it is. Superstar, I know what it is. I mean, all right. That I know what it is. Know what it is. Know what it is. That may as well be nothing. Don't uh, know what it is. Don't know what it is. 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 Now I know what it is. Know what it is. No, I actually know what most of them are. I mean, that could have been a squiggle with like a squid on it. I wouldn't know what the hell it was. I do enjoy violence at a party. Now it's a party. Haya papaya. I mean, all right. God damn it, this nonsense. What the hell is this thing just holding on to me? Ooh, ba bombs. I was wondering when those were going to show up. You just got haya papaya. I really did just get that nonsense. Lino Rem, when are you out of work? Why am I reading that? God damn it. How can that bullet bill go through the... No, oh, whatever. If we're underwater, how can there be a... Oh, man. At least this level seems slightly more fair. Date night, I like the crab grab. That would be a terrible name for a restaurant. Oh, these fuck... Oh, God, I hate this. Let's play some GoldenEye multiplayer. That would be random as hell. All right. I'll just take a mushroom, just a regular, just so I have something. Looks like, uh, Strapfax is getting in on this action in some form or fashion. Let's do it, Bobbert. I mean, maybe. Carbo low with some red bread redemption. Well played. Nice wordplay. A little unorthodox, but I'll take... These little freaking mini things are pissing me off. Oh, there's a mushroom. Can't wait for that to fucking blow up my face. Oh, actually, actually didn't. All right, cool. Do 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 do. Besides, you really think I'm getting to World Eight? Like, I appreciate your optimism, but that shit ain't happening. What the hell? All right. So now I'm kind of just stuck here. All right. Maybe the music box with a smiley face on it would have saved me here. I don't know. I literally cannot get out of here. I literally can get out of here now. I just wish this game told you more, especially since it's like a remaster of the original, so it's not like it's the original 80s game where, like, they just never gave you hints in those. I guess I know now, like, how people feel when they play Sonic games, where they're like, well, how was I supposed to know that? The game never told me. Like, there's certain things in Sonic games I'm sure aren't obvious to some people, but I've just played so many Sonic games, I just know to do it. So it's probably one of those deals. I don't know. Anthony, uh, I don't like that this part's underwater, but at least I have a fire flower. Having a fire flower underwater is ironically very helpful. You wouldn't think it would be, but it is. I don't have to, like, navigate this like a surgeon or anything. I like how pissed off Toaster got that I used the freaking wing thing. That to this day, I kind of sort of know what it does now, but only after using it. Sometimes you don't know what they do until you use them. That's the other thing. It's not like, oh yeah, that's what that does. Like, you have to try it. Play my years playing Mario games so I get all up in You really do. Well, I like the passion. That's why I like gaming. I'm still trying to find the right freaking pipe to get to the castle. I'm still in World 3. This is a freaking long-ass world. Finally. P is story. Yes, we know about the P and the balls. We all took biology. You know, while I have some time, let me see what this text message was that I apparently missed. Oh, I missed the text message. I'm not going to, like, read it on air or anything, but I will check it out.
Ah, oh, it was a sad text message. I don't like sad text messages. I'm going to respond to that right now, actually. I'm going to respond to it with an emphatic, ah. Oh. Live on the air, Bobby Gaines answers his text messages while Toad jumps around in some purple-looking dog thing. It's like, whatever. And I get a message from Toaster that says, P is stored in the balls. Cool. Way to make light of my sad moment. You come to me on this, the day of my daughter's wedding, to let me know that P is stored in the balls. And I guess I gotta respond to that one, too. I can't just leave that one alone. Alright, so one sad message and one, you know, sad for a different reason message. More after this. <coughs> Oh, yeah, didn't you say, like, John came over last night, like, during my stream? How did that go? Guessing it couldn't have been too bad. Back to the action. It took me forever to get to this castle. Or a pirate ship. I was gonna say, I knew there was gonna be a pirate ship level here. Hell, I'll use that wing thing to skip all the levels. What do I care? Sad sack. I do feel pretty sad right now about that text message. Especially since you got my hopes up, since you're like, oh, you didn't respond to my text message, so I'm like, oh, it's probably, like, something exciting that's gonna happen today, and it's like, oh, it's actually the lack of excitement. Like, I have no other way to respond to that than how I responded. Watch out. No, all right, that's not me watching out. It's me getting hit right in the face with it. Of course, these levels always conveniently scroll the exact wrong way, so it's like, if you... Wrong way? If you needed to go, like, back up, yeah, the game already knows that. The game's like, you ain't going nowhere, boy. Oh, this thing's gonna take like an hour. Of course, the level will scroll as fast as it wants, but you want to use that little platform to get by? That ain't happening. <laughs> These are such troll levels. I'm sorry. Like, every projectile goes the exact wrong way it needs to go to make sure that you have the best chance of being hit. Like that! Like, I saw that coming, too. I'm like, it's gonna scroll right into the pixel that hits me. There's no other way. Mario's gonna go flying off into World 1 or something. Ich bin traurig. Bequemen mir mit einem Schatzabruster? I honestly don't know. I kind of made up like three of those words. Let me try the frog suit. I don't really use the frog suit much. Hurry, hurry. Oh, that's right. The pirate ship flew away. It's probably back in World 1 now. It's hard enough just to get here. Toaster Cartridge 7. All right, I'll do you one better. Toaster Cartridge 8. Oh, there it is. Get back here and fight me. Stupid whatever. I actually don't remember what this thing really does other than jump. Why? What's wrong with using the frog suit? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Never mind. Now I see what's wrong with it. That's a long fucking day. Eh, it's an all right day. Trust me, Strap and I have worked longer. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get over there. Nope. Oh well. Yep. Yep, fuck me. Guess I'll die. And now it moved slightly over there. I used to work well, then there you go. What are you tell me long day for. Oh, this is my last life, isn't it? It really is. Watch out! Oh, that's about right. God damn it again. He really did, I guess. I'm gonna see if I can actually get over there this time. I just have to be really fast. Of course, it goes the wrong way. Pins me in a corner. God, why? Like, it can go, like, one of four ways, and it's gonna go the wrong way every single time. Of course it is, because Mario's like, screw you, Mamma Mia, you suck. I know I do. I don't like to use that. If I mess up, that's on me. That's how it was when you played the game originally. That's how it should be now. You know, there's not a rewind function on real life. If you mess up, you're done. 
I'm gonna try and get to that thing before I know what it already happens happens, but... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think so. I'm still gonna lose, but at least I have a less of a chance of losing now. Why are, like, the Super Mario World enemies in this? Like, isn't that, like, Wendy from, like, Super Mario World? Oh, son of a bitch. Actually, was tempted to use the rewind function there, but eh. I do save states sometimes, but eh. I have to take some punishment for losing. I can't just, like, always be not getting punished. Anyway, here we go. There's the ship. What does this do? I'm not even going to use it, because it probably does something ridiculous. I'm just going to use whatever power-ups can maybe help me. I'm basically just using the power-ups to get an extra hit. Because I'm going to get hit, and it's going to suck balls. Yep, it's gone. She gone. That was lucky. I do enjoy Shigo. I have no idea why you just said that, but I do enjoy Shigo. God, I love that. I love Kim Possible. Anyway, back to the game at hand here. I've been feeling like very nostalgic for this era in general, because this game, even though it came out in the 80s, I remember when it came out in 2003 on Game Boy Advance, and like, you know, this game, freaking Metroid Fusion. Like, I actually really liked the Game Boy Advance and like uh, GameCube era. Like, it seemed like there was always something new coming out. Anything here? Just another one of those. Honestly, kind of forgiving for a boss checkpoint. Still got to deal with this biznitch. And there you have it. Finally. Aren't there, like, two different World 4s you can get here, depending on, like... What you do, like, isn't there, like, one world four is, like, the giant world, and another one's, like, the forest world? I don't even remember. We're gonna find out. Right after this really weird cutscene or whatever. Yeah. Forget that music reminds me of, like, the SpongeBob Krabby Patty training, where, like, they, they just have somebody go, da 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 Yeah, what is this stupid jewel that protects you, by the way? Uh, you know what? I don't even care. That was... That felt like anything but a perfect clear. But yeah, save my progress. Hey, what's going on, Randy? It is a great game, actually. Is this the giant world? I think this is the giant world. Or the different sizes world, whatever they call it. Right now we got Randy, who is a big fan of the channel. Hopefully you're excited about the Super Bowl. I also plan to reveal the release date of Retromania at some point tomorrow. Not today tomorrow. But as always, I appreciate everybody tuning into the channel. I'm going to start this thing right off with a pipe, apparently. Uh, okay, World 1. Super Bowl. I do enjoy Super Bowl. Oh, wow. They don't mess around with these giant whatevers. Wow, that actually beats it, even though it's just a normal-sized... What's that? Uh, Super Bowl would be a big game between two different football franchises with huge implications for the winner and loser. Other than that, not much. Those are some really big freaking enemies. For some reason, I thought when you beat the big uh, Goombas, they turned into littler Goombas. Ow. I just don't get why none of these levels had a checkpoint. Like, they could have made them a little bit longer and just given them a checkpoint instead of making it basically, like, get through it without dying or else. Just kind of makes it less fun, in my opinion, but whatever. But it's not even a matter of it being difficult. It's a matter that you have to, like, redo the whole thing every time. Like, there's, there's, like, no negotiation on that. It's like, oh, you didn't beat it in the first try? Well, you gotta do it again now. Oh, damn it, this crap again. I didn't like this in the water level. I don't like it now. 
They literally just made it bigger. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. It's a fucking, what do you call it there? P-switch. Oh, 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 of course. Of course. Look, it goes down the fucking drain. Like, it's so stupid. It made no sense. Actually, it made perfect sense. The game saw I might actually have fun, and it was like, well, I'm gonna make sure that don't happen. This is a level that could do with a checkpoint. I mean, obviously, it's a yes. Uh, it's gonna be a troll enemy, right? No, no, there, are, there actually wasn't. I love the just-before-the-ending troll enemy. Like, oh, you're about to get to the end of the level? Well, we put, like, a spike ball there or something. Look at what anybody says. They had some sadistic people working at Nintendo. All right, let's see what nonsense I get here. Fire flower. All right, I know what it does, and it's fun. Unlike the two music box things that I'm going to end up using on some random level, and Toaster's going to go, Oh my god, that game, that's the best power-up ever made. How did you use that? Oh, well, that was pretty predictable. That's why I should always equip a power-up if I'm going into a level without one. But again, a lot of times you don't know what's coming until you do the level. So now that I know that that guy's there, I'm ready for it. But, I mean, the first few times, it's like, this is stupid. Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We got these a-holes. Wow, I honestly don't know how I didn't get hit there. I do enjoy those a-holes. They got these a-holes here. Oh, fucking spiny falling from the ceiling. All right, and we have me falling into a pit. Whatever. I, I got through it. Not literally, but mentally I'm getting through it. Literally, I lost, but whatever. Yeah, I'm going to burn all these power-ups at some point. That was kind of lucky. I just kind of assume there's basically always an enemy, unless there isn't one. And even then, even if there's not, like, a physical enemy, there'll be, like, a ramp that just takes you right off the edge to your death. Like, there's always going to be some unfortunate goodie waiting. Did you take... No, I'm still wearing... You can see what I'm wearing. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, which is why some of these rewards, I don't really know why I even made them a thing, but... I do what I do. Thought it was a legit... What, what else would it be? Of course it's a legit Sonic. You were there when I got it for my birthday. I can't wait to never get that one up. Oh, actually, I might get it. I really did get it. Bitch, I don't remember. All right, fine. No, it's a, it's a fake Sonic. It really is a very real one. I've been at it. You really have been at quite a few, yeah. Yeah, that is true, actually. All right, well, that should be good for a one-up. Nearing my 30s now. Well, as somebody who's in their 30s, let me tell you what you have to look forward to. Actually, some stuff. It's decent. All right. Proceeds to rub face. All right, let's try this one out here. This bullshit again. Yay! Yay! If you want to be... I honestly could go either way. Ooh, depend, I guess it depends on where you're having it, too. Oh my god, I'm actually going to clear this. What do I get for clearing it? Anything? Or just the satisfaction of a job well done. I feel like I've DJed a number of times at Harkness. I really don't need to DJ at Harkness again. I mean, it's honestly up to you. If you have, like, a friend that can do it for cheaper or whatever, like, I'm not going to, like, complain. If you want me to do it, I'll probably, you know, you want to call Irv or whatever. I'll deal with it. What, is it, what do these candles do? Because you know they ain't... Whoa, okay. You know those candles aren't just going to sit there. They're going to do something. Yeah, actually, probably. 
I've been DJing a long time, and I used to like the idea of doing my friends' weddings, and I've done it a few times, and I'm like, eh, it's not that fun to do my friends' weddings. Like, it's, it's, it's fun, but it's not like, oh, man, like, like, I was a guest at Dane's wedding, and I think I had more fun there. Plus, I got to see Jeff at you again. God damn it, this is annoying. When is the wedding, too? Because that, that sometimes influences my decision. Like, if it's a winter wedding, like, I definitely don't want to DJ winter at Harkness. I don't know. Like, oh, well, who knows if I'm even going to be DJing by then? I mean, I might, but... Yo, yo. Or I could do what I do. At, I could do what I did at Dane's wedding, which is Irv DJed it, and then, like, I jumped in for, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes, I did, like, a little mix or whatever, but it was kind of just whatever. I'd actually be, like, nervous doing the introductions, because I'd be... That's like how there's just random fire flowers there. Oh, this nonsense. You know, this ain't gonna work. Even though I know all of your names. I'd, I almost would rather do a stranger's wedding, because then I feel like... Like, I'm not gonna mess it up, but I feel like if I do, it's not gonna be, like, as big a deal as, like, if I mess up a friend's wedding, then it's like, great, we always know that. We always know that happened. Like, if it, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but, like, if I mess up, like, a stranger's wedding, it's like, well, that sucks, but I'm not gonna see this person again. And, I mean, I'm not, I've never, like, messed up a wedding to the point where it was, like, ruined or anything, but, like... Sometimes people have, like, these super long names and they don't know how to come into the room. Well, John Lee knows what I'm talking about. Or they're just really weirdly picky with their music, which that is one advantage of knowing my friends is that I could just make my own playlist and I would know it would work. Like, I absolutely could have played Dane's Wedding and nailed it, but I, I just was like, especially since Jeff was coming, I wanted to see Jeff again. I, I didn't want to be like stressing out about it. That's all I have to say about that topic for now. That's a fun little ditty. Where the hell even am I on the map? Oh, I'm like way over here. All right, another one of these mushroom houses, huh? What do you got for me, Toad? What, what's the good stuff? Another fire flower, all right. So what are these fire flowers? Can I collect them or they're just kind of chilling there? Uh, we got a bunch of hammer bros. This level doesn't seem as big as World 3. Like, I mean, there's still stuff in here, but it's not like World 3. World 3 seemed to go on forever. That was, that was eventful. And I get another power-up to put in my binder or whatever. You think Mario just carries around a binder? Like, people have binders of cards or whatever? He's like, look, I got this one fighting a uh, hammer thing. I'll just do like a regular... Do I have a regular mushroom? I'll just do a regular mushroom there. But I digress. I feel like this level just recycles, like, the old levels, like the pyramid level, but just makes them really big. And I feel like that's the main gimmick here. Those are going to be big bullet bills, aren't they? Oh, no, they're just going to be glowing ones. Cha! It's like it was predictable, but still eh, probably preventable, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I don't have any more mushrooms, so... i use one of these. Goofiest version of Mario 3. See, I actually prefer this version. What's up, Pokey? I don't... I, I don't dislike the original or the All-Stars version on Super Nintendo. I, I mean, it's not like I'm that married to this game where I know every version either. As you guys have seen today, I didn't even know what half the power-ups did. Like, I know what the obvious ones do. Oh, there we go. Getting on the cloud. Getting on the cloud. Oh, I do not like that. So, Pokey, are you named after that Mario enemy that, like, from the desert level? Oh, hold on. We got a uh, hell of a time redeemed here. Get that going. But now that off, I'm gonna kill him nice and slow. MJ and I are gonna have a hell of a time! Yeah, that, that went perfectly with the Mario soundtrack. I walked into a cactus once and I remembered it. Hey-o! Fair enough. What the hell? I know it's the tanuki soup. That's like a super souped up tan tanuki. Hmm. 
Ooh, weird looking things. Whoa, okay. Whoa, ah, uh, my, my suit turned into a ghost. The stream skipping a smidge. Do that fit. What do you mean? Oh, what, the audio? I highly doubt it's going to work. But I'll do it. How, how does something skip a smidge? Fuck it. Alrighty. How about now? Not that it matters, because I'm not going to be playing that much longer anyhow, but... If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Line up the pictures and basically have God himself come down. I mean, you'll see right now, because I already did it. Also, how you doing, Pokey, other than having some weird cacti experiences? Where am I now? I'm over there. I didn't win. I win nothing. I win nothing. Oh, that seemed about right. I'm not getting that out of there. I wasn't really lucky. I just collected enough coins for an extra life. It's actually part of the game. All right, did that fix whatever was wrong? Because I feel like I don't know what was wrong. You just said it was skipping a smidge. I don't even know what a smidge would be in this case. Usually if my if my stream skip, they either skip all the way or they don't. <laughs> Usually no smidge skipping. You think so? All right, well, that inspires some confidence. I don't know why that would work if it does. I hope it does because if that happens during retro again, I really hate having to restart and bring it back. That really messed me up on the last retro. Because I had to, like, try to edit, like, four different parts of the same video, and it just, it's impossible on my computer. Oh, I get it. I see what's happening. I'm hip to the whole scene. Oh, fuck. I got hit by it. Can't wait for the next Retromania. It should be a fun one, actually. I've got a really good idea for it. Sometimes I have my ideas for retro, like, beforehand. Other times I kind of come up with them, I don't want to say last minute, but, like, I kind of just come up with them. And I don't know. This is kind of a combination of two different things. I think it's going to be a really good one, though. Now, you know what? I know it's going to be a good one. But we'll see how good when it releases. Until then, I don't know what to tell you. Just what I needed. I will admit that makes it kind of goofy having the voice acting in the like the game that wasn't in it originally, even though it's just little voice clips here and there. <laughs> Can't really call that voice acting. Like, oh yeah, remember when Mario said that famous line, "Just what I needed." Hmm, that's what I needed. Oof! Like he got kicked, even though he just got hit with a freaking thing or whatever. Anyway, hopefully people are looking forward to the Super Bowl, all kinds of great stuff we got coming up here. Not going to fall for that again. And also not going to get a one-up. Or actually, I might get a one-up. I really did. Get a load of this! I remember when I had that as a reward for a little bit. All right. Let's see here. We'll probably go through the last... Uh... Oh, there's two castles. Oh, that's right, because I haven't done the mini castle yet. Well, we'll do one of them before I call it a day here. Already actually played this longer than I thought, but it's been a fun stream, I must admit. Oh, another Tanooki. Will you look at that? Take a Nookie look at that. I don't know what I was trying to go for there. It did not go well. Oh, hold on. There's another mini game right there. Ah, I gotta restart this. Uh, wow, that was lucky as hell. Nope. Wow! Whoa! I didn't even know the ice mushroom was in this. You playing hard? No, I'm not. I, I'm sure it's an okay enough game. All right, that'll take me out. Do I actually get a fa ice flower? Like, I said I won one, but I don't have one in my inventory. Anyway. 
We'll probably this will probably be my last level here. Appreciate everybody watching today. Not to say I'm gonna beat this one even re like reasonably easily. I'm probably gonna struggle. So let's do it up. This is not even the final castle. This is like the mini halfway castle or whatever. Well, that's gonna hurt. It doesn't matter what I have when that happens. All right. You want to be on the way when my laser goes off? Bowser being like that about his lava. You don't want to be in the way when my lava goes off. <coughs> I was sick like two weeks ago. I still have a fucking cough. Actually, close to three weeks ago. COVID? I mean, no. Oh, god damn it. How am I supposed to get up? Well, wait a minute. I could get a um, Tanuki, which I have got like 20 of those. Try to fly up there. Let's see. Where is it? Ba -ba -da! Actually. Okay, there we go. Yep, that'll get me there. What's next here? More stuff. That was bizarre, but all right. Is that going in anything? It does not. Oh, the boss is right here. Okay, I thought this was going to be a longer level. Oh, we're not. Fuck. Got him. Thank you. Don't come again. How's that for the Mario story? All right, all right, all right. Appreciate everybody checking in today. Uh, that is likely going to do it for me right now. We are going to save, of course, because saving is always a responsible thing to do. But uh, you really want to be responsible, feel free to follow me here at Chaos Blur on Twitch. I'm also on Twitter, also at Chaos Blur. I'm not playing GoldenEye. I'm, I'm not tired, but I, I got some other things to do. I actually overslept, as I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, but I don't think anybody was here for that. But again, I appreciate everybody for watching. This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. We got through almost half the game here, halfway, um, in Mario 3. I actually don't know how long it takes people to beat this game. I know Toaster can beat it in half an hour, but for us normal people, I don't know how long it's supposed to take. But regardless, we didn't beat it. We didn't even come close. That is, of course, a common trope here on the Chaos Blur channel. But uh, as always, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, stay chaotic. Blur out. Chaos.